Hi friends, how are you doing? I'm so happy that this honeydew messages are very useful to all of you all and I praise God for that. Be sure to share these videos. We are sending the YouTube links also to you. Be sure to share these videos to many people so that all of them will be blessed. Today we are going to see about carelessness. Many times in our world, in the world that we live in, we see elders, older people, parents, family members advise youngsters or advise the others about being careless. They say, don't be careless, study well, now is the time. Don't be careless, just save your money, don't spend everything, they say. Carelessness is not only in our practical sense, but we can also see it written in the Bible. When we read Hebrews chapter 12 verse 6, 16 and 17, we read about Esau. Esau sold his birthright to Jacob just for a cup of porridge. He was hungry. So just for a cup of porridge, he sold his birthright. But this birthright was a blessing that was so important important in his life. However, he was careless about it. He was lethargic about it. He did not consider it to be important. He just said, okay, let it be. I just want to survive this very minute. I don't need my birthright. He sold it. But then after that, what happened? Even when he wanted to get it back, even when he wanted to get another blessing instead of the birthright, he was not given it. He was denied the blessing. In the same way, God has blessed us with so many things in our life. First of all, spiritually, he has blessed us with salvation. He has given us the assurance of eternity. We should not be careless about such blessings. We should hold on to it. We should believe in it and we should make sure that we live up to it. And not only that, in a material sense, God has given us a good family. God has given us a, a job. God has given us something to be proud about our studies or uh, our you know savings or whatever we have all the material blessings they are from God don't be careless about them also just as you are careful about the spiritual blessings be careful about the material blessings also and guard them with all your heart I'm not saying you should keep on thinking about it but you should be careful and not lose it to anything or anyone God bless you